Could I ask you a question, sir? I mean, you, sure. you've taught so many people, and uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I before I even knew, actually, I went to the Docs course, and I met one gentleman, and he actually told me, he's like, you know, I took uh, Dr. Kerner's course, and it changed the way I practice, changed my life pretty much. And I heard about you before I even took your course. Uh, but tell me, how did you get there? I mean, uh, where, where is your training and the uh, background comes from? Well, you know, um, in dental school, uh, it was a good program, but I didn't learn a lot of surgery, and especially difficult surgery, difficult extractions. But um, I, I had a commitment through ROTC uh, for three years in the military, and one was a GPR. And it turned out to be in uh, San Antonio at a hospital, and the first three months was surgery. So I go from knowing almost no surgery to being in a hospital doing surgery every day, all day. And, uh, and so I, I think that was lucky for me, you know, that I had that opportunity because they put me in a clinic and started giving me patients, third molars and all kinds of surgery. And uh, I didn't know what I was doing, but there were residents there and, and the Colonel and, and others that if I raised my hand, you know, they were there on Johnny on the spot. And then there was that five foot tall assistant on standing on a stool that she, she knew quite a bit too. She couldn't officially give me any instruction, but she could nod her head or hand me an instrument or something like that. That helped a lot too. So there was that uh, year um, where I did a lot of surgery in that GPR. Then uh, I went, I was signed, signed to a clinic where I was the only dentist for two years. There's no other dentist there. The nearest dentist was like a, like a 45 minute helicopter ride away. So they'd come down and watch me for a while, and, and then they'd say, okay, we can leave you alone. Um, you know, I referred very little, but I took care of those 2,000 troops uh, for two years, including the colonel and other officers there. And it was a great experience. I loved it. So I, I knew that that was always going to be a big part of my life after that. So I went, I got out of the Army, went into general practice, and continued to do uh, surgery. Um, but then I, I took an ortho course once, and it was taught by uh, 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 not an orthodontist, and uh, he taught the course to general dentists. And I went back and thought, you know, there aren't any surgery courses, but the way he taught that, if I just took what he did, marketing, teaching, you know, um, logistics, and just changed the subject mm -hmm. from ortho to surgery, I wonder if anyone would come. And lo and behold, they did, and that started it, and it's oh. been like twice a month um, somewhere in the country uh, ever since, and just building on that. So that's my background, and so I just, I just enjoy doing it, and, and uh, if, uh, if I can help other people to do it better and not make mistakes and treat patients in a, in a way that is needful to them, that's, that's what I'd like to do. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing your journey, sir.